Crandall High School. It's Tuesday, September 11th, and here are today's Pirate Announcements. There will be lots going on during Homecoming Week. Wednesday the 26th, we'll have early release. Then we'll have the Homecoming Parade in downtown Crandall starting at 5. Following the parade will be the Community Pepper Rally at the football stadium at 6. If you want to have a float in the parade, go to CHS webpage to the float form and guidelines or contact Mr. Morrow at 972-427-6150. Please opt all the forms submitted by September 25th. Saturday the 29th at 7 p.m. it's the homecoming hoedown. Break out your boots for this year's western theme. Dress western if you want to, but just don't wear shorts. Leave your Daisy Dukes at home. Tickets are on sale now in the counselor's office. Only $10. There'll be 12 at the door. Is your date from out of town? No problem. Just follow the same protocol as you would for prom. Get a form from the front office. Be sure to ring 5 or $10 if you want pictures. And somewhere in all between that, we'll have a football game complete with homecoming queen and everything. It was a great weekend for the Pirate Cross Country team. Farsi took second at the meet in Malakoff. Stone Walters, Austin Foster, and Nazari Nahara all finished in the top 15. Cesar Nahara, Zaid Rojas, and Zachary each set a personal best in this race. The girls ran well too. Morgan Coker and Presley Stevens both finished in the top 15. Jasmine McCall and Janice Salters ran personal best. This weekend, it's the Northwest High School Invitational at the Old Golf Course in UNT. Meet the Teacher Night is set for Monday, September 17th from 5.30 to 7.30 here at the high school. Students, don't forget to tell your parents to come up to the school that evening to meet your teachers. Seniors, pass-fail forms are now available in the counselor's office. They're due back by Friday, September 14th. The SAT will be given at Crandall High School on Saturday, October 6th. The deadline to sign up has actually passed, but you can still get in if you pay a late fee. Get more info at www.collegeboard.org or see the counselors. The next ACT opportunity will be October 27th. Sign up for that at www.actstudent.org. Lady Pirate Volleyball has a huge game tonight. They'll be facing Lindale, but the game is in Kaufman. In memoriam of the events of 9-11, please wear red, white, and blue to the game. Go Lady Pirates! Are you interested in doing UIL academics this year? From math to science or English to speech, UIL academics has it all. If you want to become a part of a winning tradition, come see Mr. Gamble. He can give you some more information. If you need a VOE, go see Ms. Pilkering. Sign up by 8.30 and she can have your VOE ready by the end of the school day. Attention teachers and staff, CHS Life Skills class will be preparing lunch boxes once a month this school year. Watch your email for menu choices and pricing. Life Skills class will be delighted to serve you and thanks in advance. Sign up via email or in the teacher workroom. Make your Mondays brighter with Muffin Monday. Life Skills will be selling an assortment of muffins every Monday outside the cafeteria from 8 to 8.30. With flavors ranging from blueberry, lemon poppy seed, banana, and orange cranberry, there are muffins for everyone's taste. Only 50 cents for muffins, so stop by and start your Monday off happy. Theater Crandall presents Almost Maine on December 11th and 13th. Times to be determined. Come join us for a fun, romantic midwinter tale. Saturday, September 15th is the Trinity River Trash Bash, a good opportunity for the public service and an opportunity to clean up our environment. Registration will start at 9 a.m. here at the high school. By 10.30, all the work will be done and you'll be back at the school for door prizes and other giveaways. RSVP to the Environmental Co-op, 972-524-0007. Juniors, class ring time. Jostens will be at CHS during lunches on Monday and Tuesday, September 17th and 18th to take your order. Bring your completed order form and your $50 deposit. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Laura. Have, Have a groovy Tuesday. Tuesday rhymes with groovy. No. Yes. Tuesday, no. groovy. Tuesday, groovy. No. Hey, guys. I just wanted to let you know that right now uh, with elections, it, they're not going so well. For student council and class officers, right now we have one student running for senior class president, one student running for vice president, and none for any other office. So nobody's running for junior class office, no one for sophomore class, no one for freshman class. 
And even student council, we have a ton of vacancies. I know there's some of you around here who really want to get involved and you're just not sure how. So I'm asking that you drop by my room, 106, pick up an application outside the door or come talk to me personally so that we can get you into office or have an election because we need to get that taken care of this week. In fact, all applications and posters for office are due no later than Wednesday. Again, I know that there are so many of you who'd love to be involved and you just needed that information. So please, please, please come by. Thank you. Today marks the 11th anniversary of 9-11. What are your comments on 9-11? I'd love to thank all the police officers and firefighters that helped save tons of lives that day. A teacher told me that uh, one of the towers had been hit. And honestly, she was a teacher who told jokes. And so I thought it was a joke. But she said, no, I'm being serious. And so I turned on the television. And while my students and I watched, we watched the plane hit the second tower. 9-11 was a tragic day. It hurt a lot of families. So when you have the chance, show your respect. 9-11, I remember exactly where I was. We were in the old high school. I was in my office. My brother was at the World Trade Center at the time. We didn't know which one got hit. It was He was actually in Dallas and not in New York. It scared me half to death. We had students that their parents were flight attendants. They were horrified. It was a terrible thing. Do I think 9-11 could happen again? Yes, I do. It scares me half to death. But that's why we have our military. Thank you, military, out there doing everything they can to keep us safe. God bless. 9-11 was a day where many innocent lives were lost. I was in my first grade class when the news came out and we all cried and I was very sad. 9-11 was a terrible time for any American and uh, just any time you have a chance to say a prayer for all the victims and everybody that was involved in 9-11, that'd be great. Despite all the tragedy and the loss, I did feel that sense of patriotism afterwards, and I was proud of our country for this banding together to heal that I've never seen in my lifetime. I thank God that we have the army that we have fighting for us over there. What do you think, Peyton? Oh, I appreciate all our soldiers are doing over there. 9-11 was a devastating time. It killed millions of people, and I honestly don't think it will happen again because we shot bin Laden, and he dead. You know, there were images of people standing on the overpasses, even here in Dallas, you know, waving American flags. And I think that's a testament to what our flag stands for and to the unity that really exists in our country.